As the weather turns cooler, we have a great way to keep your tummy warm without putting a chill into your bank account. <laughs> this week, we gave just 20 bucks to Chef Nina Newman and asked her to make a three-course Greek feast for four. That's right. Chef Nina Newman hails from the restaurant Layla here in Manhattan, where the entertainment can be as spicy. Check it out as the Mediterranean-inspired food. Let's take a look at what Chef Newman bought. Here we are in the story of Queens, New York. Here's my 20. Let's go shopping. I need some yogurt. I prefer to buy whole milk yogurt. It's richer and full flavored. We also need Castorian white beans. They have a more buttery flavor than regular white beans. We are going to get Gala and Granny Smith apples because they are both in peak season and both can be eaten raw. We're going to buy dandelion greens. When buying dandelion greens, you want to make sure that the stems are pliable so that way the greens won't be too bitter. We're going to get butternut squash. You want to get medium-sized squashes so that way they're sweeter. Parsley and dill, two significant herbs in Greek cooking. Can I have one three-pound chicken, please? 30. Thank you. Will you cut that into eight pieces, please? Sure. We're looking for a plump breast. We're looking for the, the color not to be too yellow. You see, that chicken is not bad. You see, it's not that yellow. I spent $18.18, and when we get back, I'll show you how to turn this into a fabulous Greek dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> and we are here now with Chef Mina Newman. Hi, Chef. Thanks for coming. Hi. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. What Good morning. Gonna, Good morning. What are we going to have today? We're going to have butternut squash and yogurt soup, uh -huh. lemon and dill roasted chicken, and a little fall apples with honey yogurt. Ooh, this sounds good. Let's get started. Great. First, we're going to start by heating some hot oil, adding some onions, and a little garlic. When making this, you want to be sure not to get any color on the onions or the garlic, so that way your butternut squash will have a nice orangey color to it as opposed to a dark brown. Donna was telling me that before the segment. Yeah, you know? right. And so thanks for, thanks for confirming <laughs> that. Yeah. I knew she was such a good cook. No, 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 I'm a woman who makes better reservations than good, so. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. <laughs> After this is sweated nicely, when they're soft, you want to add your butternut squash. You know, that does look, it's a wonderful color. At first I thought it was cheddar cheese. Popped up. <laughs> Somebody said, it looks like mango. I said, no, that's yeah, butternut squash. Carrot. Butternut squash is perfect right now because it's the fall and a lot of the squashes are coming in and pumpkins and so on. So basically you want to just coat all this soup with the onions and the garlic and the oil and let that cook for a little bit. Three or four minutes is fine. Uh -huh. Okay? And let that cook. Right. After that softens, we'll add some water. Stand back. <laughs> Nothing special here. How much water approximately? Approximately about two to three quarts, depending upon how much you have. Okay. I only bought two medium sized squashes, so I'm only going to put two quarts of water in there. Okay. okay. We're only feeding a family of four. And the squash thickens the soup up nicely. You may have to add some water later to thin it out. Two quarts of water? Yes. Okay. Okay, we'll add some salt and a little pepper. Some toasted coriander. Hmm. This already smells and good. And a little ground cinnamon. Mix that all together. How long are you going to cook this approximately? We're going to cook it about 15 to 20 minutes until the squash is uh, soft enough to be pureed. Okay. Okay. You'll see the squash. It, it's hard right now, but it'll get softer and much more pliable. So that way, when we put it in our blender, we'll be able to pulse it up very nicely. It smells like candied yams. Yeah, that <laughs> smells good. Yeah, it smells All good. in the squash it's family. Let's get this out. We'll just eat out of that. That's yeah, really. Fine. This is a nice texture. Either way. Yes, it is. It's all the squash that gives it this nice texture. Need some help here. Okay. I'll See, hold it. she can be my sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> Pour that right in there. Right. It's almost like an applesauce consistency. Yeah. Like I said, you may have to add some some more water if it gets too thick for you because it happens to um, the starch inside the squash happens to thicken as we go as you cook it the more you cook it the thicker the soup will be okay okay and then you just add a dollop of your whole milk yogurt can you use low fat you can but it won't be as thick and it won't be as full flavored okay, okay? what about flavored use... yogurt 
No flavored no yogurt. No flavored yogurt. No, no strawberry. No strawberry, no, strawberry, no blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> and I add a little cinnamon on top. And a little more toasted coriander. Looks good. Yeah, that does. I'll take this out of your way. Here you go. Thank you.